is it's Sasha the Diva. Okay, check this out. Look. I love my shoes. I love to look fabulous in my shoes. But can I tell you something? Like, my feet hurt right now so bad. Dr. Minky's here. Hello, darling. How you doing? His name is Chris Minky with his cute self. I'm going to call him Dr. Chris. Okay. Dr. Chris, help me help the ladies with these shoes and what we're going to do. All right. You see my inches, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know how many inches this is? I don't. It's six and a half inches. That's what it looks like. Not good, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell, tell me why it's not good. Well, it's not good because when you're in a high heel shoe, you're in a very unstable position for your ankle. And okay. so you're, you're prone to first falls, sprain your ankle, uh, break your ankle, uh, and let alone anything else if, if you fall and hurt yourself. So that's probably the number one thing. Okay. Uh, the second thing that's bad is because it can hurt the ball of your foot. Uh, you put more pressure down by your toes. The ball of my foot. Mm -hmm. That's that's towards the toes? Towards the toes. Okay. So you're going to be more prone to an aromas where you get a pinched nerve or even forming hammer toes. Wait a minute. So you, you, Hold you, tight. Yeah, we don't want that. What the hell is hammer toes? Hammer toes are when your toes start to curl up. <gasps> and so the biggest thing that I see in the office is where women come in and they'll have calluses and corns on the top of their toes. And it's because they're rubbing up against their shoes. Oh, my goodness. So Okay, can you look at my feet? I don't have no hammer toes. I'm good, good, right? She's I'm good, good to go. Okay, now what I do have is in my arches. Oh, my God, I have so much pain in my arches by the end of the day. Like, it's the end of the day now. So, But you see I have my flat shoes, right? Mm -hmm. I will switch into these shoes because I, w I won't be able to walk in the shoes. So what is the arch pain? The arch pain, you're just not getting enough support in the shoe. Okay. And so your arch is, is trying to, it's, it's getting overworked basically. And if I keep doing this, what's going to happen? Continued pain. Um, again, uh, by the end of the day, your feet are going to be killing you. And over time, you can start to develop, again, the, the, the arch pain, the heel pain, the hammer toes. So that's why it's important to have a backup pair. Okay, I'm just still tripping about the hammer toes, okay? You know, I'm like freaking out about hammer toes. All right, so what is it that the ladies can do who just love their shoes, still wear the shoes, and not have problems? Uh, it's tough. It's definitely tough in, in a high heel shoe. Um, try to look for some type of arch support, whether it's a it's something as simple as a felt pad you can put in, in, in the... Uh, can you wear an arch support in this? That's going to be very difficult. But so if, you, if you can hide a, a felt pad or some type of cushion in there, that may give you just enough support. We can still get through the day or the night and still wear your shoes. Okay, well, could I wear these shoes for a couple of hours? Would that help if I did something like that? You could do that. Uh, have a second pair like you brought in today. Mm -hmm. um, you could have a, a, a frozen water bottle. Okay. You can, roll it, you can roll your arch over that under the desk. Nobody's looking. Um, you can try various uh, topical anti-inflammatory creams, things of that nature that are, are very subtle but can try to help get you through the day. Listen, we're trying to help you get through today is Dr. Chris. His phone number is 400, excuse me, 404-508-4026. It's anklefootandcenters.com is the website address. Now, what do you suggest with the flat shoes? Because I heard that some flat shoes are not good to wear either, like mm -hmm. the flip-flops mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Let's talk mm -hmm. about that. So the, the flat shoes, they're, they pose a different uh, problem than, than the high heels. So with the flat shoes, there's absolutely no arch support at all, like a flip-flop. And, and so try to use them sparingly. Um, that's where you can fit an arch support in there, and that'll give you more support um, and, and try to take some of the pain away. Now, worst case scenario for women in shoes, I've heard women getting shots. Mm -hmm. what, what is the shots in the feet? Well, if, if you get pain bad enough, you know, we can give you a cortisone shot. Um, that's probably the most common shot that, that we, you know, we see. Again, those aromas, that, that pinched nerve, you can get a shot for that, a shot for heel pain. Um, again, they'll try some of the things by modifying your shoes, uh, and I think that'll help. And for us, we'll get our pedicures done. Women tend to have more calluses on their feet, especially the heels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but also nail fungus. Nail fungus. And those are the two biggest things that I probably see in the office, especially with women. Uh, coming in, and that's uh, a lot of times it's after a nail salon, or, or uh, it, it can even be from a family member. And so, you know, one of the big things that's come out lately is a new antifungal nail polish, mm -hmm. um, and that's something where you, know, you can you can protect your nails whether you're getting a, a spa or salon, uh, but still have the beauty of using a nail polish. So when you go to the spa, what are the tips to tell them what to do as soon as you get there? Um, well, make sure that they, they clean all their instruments. Okay, that's probably the number one thing. Um, there are now waterless spas. Uh, I know there's another 
Uh, oh, wait a minute. If it's waterless, how is your feet going to get clean? Well, they, they, there's different uh, topicals and things that they can add to it and still do the massage. Okay, so, I want water, so just clean it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but probably the, the best thing you can do to protect your nails, uh, there's a new nail polish. Uh, it's called Fiore RX. And that's F I O R E R X dot com. Okay. And, and that you can take that to the salon with you, and you can use either they have a, they have a variety of colors or just a base coat, and you can put your own color on top of it. And what about getting just foot massages? Foot massages are good. Okay. Do you do those? Um, we have people that will do. Oh, that okay. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, we want you to take care of yourself. Give him a call, Doctor Chris, at four zero four five zero eight forty twenty six. But this is the question. So, Doctor Chris, are those shoes like hot? They're approved. <laughs> And men love to look at hot shoes on women, right? Yep, They're, they look pretty good. Okay, but ladies, we really got to take care of our fabulous feet. We only have two of them, all right? Call Dr. Chris, 404-508-4026. Love ya. Thank you. See you guys.